Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out The Story of Two Lasers, A Cube, and Some Gel by Syringer. Have I been saying Syringer all this time? There is no N in that name. I think I've been saying Syringer for a very long time now. <laughs> Difficulty normal, duration around 10 to 30 minutes, every feedback is welcome and appreciated. Enjoy this map. Alright, well, I hope we do. Also, I just noticed you're shooting a portal during the screenshot, which is kind of interesting. Alright, let's get started. While I was out investigating, I found a fascinating new test element. It's never been used for human testing because, apparently, contact with it causes heart failure. The literature doesn't mention anything about lump of coal failure, though, so you should be fine. Alright. Whoa, did that- oh, it just didn't auto aim assist or whatever. Okay, well I guess we can't do anything right now, so let's try the other room. Ah yes, there's a laser cube in here that we can interact with. X, what does- oh, X is this. <laughs> I guess- I guess it makes sense that that's not an ant line because this- well actually- No, because it still crosses over, so... I thought that maybe you didn't make it an ant line because you didn't want it to cross over this ant line, but then it just crosses over this ant line instead. So... Uh, yeah, maybe- maybe this should have been signage, and that could have been an ant line. <laughs> oh well. Doesn't matter too much. I figured it out now. It, it, uh, it. <sighs> oh, it's reflective gel, huh? Okay, so... This is really why we need mirrors in this game. Because with reflective gel, you can't really see... I could even tell that I was aiming at stuff over there, but I guess I was. Alright, so I hit that, now what? Also, why is this recessed? Oh, I guess what so doesn't block the laser, that makes sense. And what do we have up here? What is this? Oh, portal surface, alright. Didn't need to be nested like that, but that's okay. And that is our end goal. Really? Yeah, I guess I haven't tried to shoot portals on this, but this is definitely reflective gel and not conversion gel. So at some point, we're going to have the cube... Okay, I see. So we're gonna have the laser come out of this portal surface, and the cube is going to bounce off of that and redirect to hit this, and then we'll be able to leave. So that is our end goal, but we don't need to come up here right now. First... Oh goodness, what all... I don't understand where these ant lines are even going. Does- does this ant line go to this fizzler, or does it go down here? Well no, because if it goes down here, then it would go to that, and they would connect to each other, so they must... Either this ant line- the ant line goes to either this fizzler, or this fizzler, and I'm not sure which, but I guess we can easily find out, right? Okay. Yeah, that- that could probably do with some... de If that's even a word. And... Oh, you know what I should probably do first? There we go. That's what I should do first. And then what? And then what? I guess... Huh. I wonder... Maybe I can do some trickery with the portal here. Does that, and that's off the chart. Okay. Huh. Yeah, really not much I can do about that, I guess. Yeah, because it needs to bounce at an angle like that, in order to turn off the fizzler. Because what I was gonna try and do, 
is like move the portal or something, but now that I'm thinking about that, that wouldn't even work the way I wanted it to. There's no portal surfaces out here that I can access right now. I can't get in here without walking through the fizzler, and I can't get out without either walking through the fizzler or doing this. I don't see a way to keep a portal in there while the fizzler's on. And even though there's a portal surface up here, I can't get up here without turning the Sizzler back on. And that's pretty much pointless. No way I can move the cube close enough to the fizzler that I can pick it up from the other side. Yeah, there's- there's no way. As soon as I'm close enough to pick it up, I'm standing in the fizzler. Although, even if I did pick it up, it wouldn't help- I mean, yeah, it wouldn't help at all. Huh. Am I missing something obvious? If we do that... Yeah, that just bounces back on itself. Not even in a particularly interesting way. Oh, Valve. Why does the sound of the laser receiver get louder over here? <laughs> the way- the way that sound travels through portals in this game is really buggy. Like, I think it tries to, like, re-rotate the actual sound source through- through the portal instead of just replaying sounds at the- uh, at the exit of a portal. And the, if- if- if this- if each of the portals could listen to sounds and replay the sound that they hear at the other portal, that would work. And there- there would be some echo, but yeah, there would be echo in real life, and since sound, you know, over distance gets dimmer, the echo would- would trail off pretty quickly. But I don't think that's how they did sound in this game, based on my experiences with what I've been hearing over the past hundred maps or so. Actually, I think I'm over like 500 to 600 maps now. Anyway, I'm a bit stuck here. <laughs> so I will... I'll cut the video here, and we will meet back when I have figured something out. That's an interesting texture. I don't think I've seen that before. Is that specific to B-Mod? Huh. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I figured something out. It's just a game of Guess the Angle. So, if we do this, we can disable... sort of, maybe. Yeah, we can do... and sort of do... oops, come on. Come on, there we go. We can do this fizzler. And then, if we're extremely lucky... Yeah! That just barely works. I discovered that doing it the other way, the way I was trying to do it before, it was impossible because, uh, these portal surfaces are specifically non-portalable. I mean, those walls, not those portal surfaces. Yeah, so there we go. Now that we've done that... 
now that we've done that, let's go ahead and save it. We have portals inside there, and we have this fizzler turned off, so that's something to save over. Question is, what do we want to do next with that knowledge? Huh. Like, at the end of the day, we want to get the cube out and we want to have a laser as well, right? We're gonna need to funnel ourselves up there. Though, I guess now we can just move the cube into this room. Cause that room only has a laser. And we can always deactivate... I mean, we can always activate that again if we want to, so yeah, let's go ahead and just do this. This cube is gonna come into here. And, let's see... Technically, we could activate these both at the same time, but that's considered cheating. So that does that. Now the problem is, we need to get out of here while keeping a portal in here. Oh, that's interesting. Isn't that interesting? Okay, not entirely what I was going for. What angle is this all at, though? Oh, is this... I think this... I think that might be blocking this. Maybe we can't do what I was hoping to do. Yeah, there's... there's no direct route here anymore. So... Instead... Let's do... that, I guess? Ooh, okay, so... is that we, uh... We place the portal and we hit the funnel. Is that even... can we even make that work with these angles? It's gonna take a lot of reloads. Oh, that was an utter failure. <laughs> well, while we're here, we might as well try and work it out in the first place. It's gonna take an angle like that. Ouch. So yeah, once we have that angle... It also needs to hit the angle to let us out of the other room, though. Wait. Yes. Yes. Because... No, we have to- we have to... Like, we can't use that anymore, really, because... If we aim at that, it only lets us out a this room, and then we can't turn on the, uh... the whatchamacallit, the funnel anymore. So we definitely need to aim at that, but I just need a different angle here. How can I achieve a different angle, though? Let's try... I suppose... this? No, that's not gonna work. That is never gonna work. Yeah, let me through. There we go. I don't think that's going to work, but we can try it. Yep, nope, didn't work. So... Perhaps a different approach? Out of the way. So if we did this instead... 
There's no equivalent on this side though. And if we just place their portal here, it's just gonna come out. Which is not what we want. Yeah, that's not what we want. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Maybe I actually don't need the cube in this room. Maybe... Maybe... How did I have this set up before? Could I have activated the funnel at all? If we aim at that... But then how would we change... Hey! Hey! I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. And then... Oops. Oh... The issue, though... Is how... To get the laser angle... Because right now... If we place our black portal up here... We lose access to getting the laser... Out... Out here... And... Oh wait, no! That's exactly what we have to do! we can get it back. Wish me luck. Alright. Now we do... Gotta do some sort of combination here. Cause that only does... what I was worried about. So, maybe we actually can't. I'm trying to think about this. What if we do that? I don't think that's helpful at all. Because the issue is now we can get the cube up there, but we don't have the laser. Like... We can't angle at that unless we're over here, which means we need the laser to come through this portal first. Which means I need the, the la- I need the portal in the other room. But if I- if I were to place my green portal up here, then we would lose access. Yep. So somehow, some way. Somehow, some way, I need to be different. I need to have the laser cube inside there. So let's let's pretend that I didn't leave the room, right? Let's see how can I do this? Uh, under the fizzler? Yeah. Let's pretend that I stayed in this room, and that's where my quick save was. If we have the laser cube in here, the issue is again that we need... It doesn't say to use any glitches, right? Yeah, it doesn't say anything about glitches, so I'm not gonna try and activate these both simultaneously. That wouldn't make any sense.
Yeah, that's just more of an angle than I... Wait. No, that's, that's still not gonna work. Because the angle is not dictated by how far back this cube is, it's dictated by... the angle between this portal and this catcher. So that's not going to help. I feel like I've exhausted all the possibilities again, so I will be right back when I have figured something out. This is the closest we're gonna get to this catcher, because the uh, X is blocking the way. Wait. What? The reflective gel is no longer reflective? Ah. Uh... Uh I think I broke it. <laughs> How did I break it? It's not reflecting anymore. That's for sure. <laughs> um Huh. How does that work? Yeah, it is completely and totally... Wait, it works? It works at some angles, but not all angles? Or is it just on that one tile now? No, it's working there. It's working everywhere, except that certain angles are not allowed to reflect? Is that a thing? Does it not reflect at certain angles? If so, I had no such idea that that was even a thing. Really? It appears that that might actually be a thing that I just never knew about Reflection Gel. Huh. Well, today I learned. This is absolutely not intended, I think. But I have been here for, apparently according to the dates, like 15 minutes. And not able to figure out anything, so... Let's see... Awww... <laughs> the game knew it would work, and... yeah... Well... That's what I get for trying something unintended. Be right back. Oh! I've done it! Wow, that took a very long time for me to figure out. That is... That is quite some shenanigans here. And, uh... Ooh, but the issue now... Yes! Wow, that was incredibly lucky. I didn't expect that to work at all. I tried so many different angles and such. Wow, that was a really big angle-guessing game. Alright, but now... I can place my green portal and we can get out of here! Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Please don't make me ever do that again. I did not enjoy that, personally. I'm just not gonna rate this map. Alright, so let's see. Is there... How will I know when I've hit this? Okay, it's, it's a bit more of an extreme angle than expected. There we go. There is an- oh, there is an audio cue. I thought I might have been too far away for it. Let's see, is it hitting still? Ah, it's a stupid jiggle. A stupid valve jiggle. There we go. Alright, finally! <sighs> and there's more, because of course there is. Eh... <laughs> There was no mention of a second area. I'll have you know. <laughs> I thought I was done. Ah, oh, nope. What do these do? They don't have labels. What's going on here? Oh. Why is there no signage? 
Good sir, I do believe you could spare some signage, perchance. And that's all... Oh, I can shoot there. So that's a start. Oh well. We have warehouses yes, full of Yes, thanks GLaDOS, I get the Absolutely picture. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, I ha- now I have to guess... which... ones to press? Are you... serious right now, game? Alright, well, looks like we have to start here, at the very least. And I'd better hope that my- my aim is dead on. Because if my aim is not dead on... then, uh... or SOL. Alright, so let's see. Uh, nope. That was the wrong one. Nope. So it's this one... Oh, hey, look at that. So that's first. Gotta remember, that's first. And what about on this side? Uh... What does that do? Nope, that does the wrong one. This? There we go! That actually might be correct. So that's left and right. Left, right, run for it. Middle, 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 middle. Oh, but the issue... The door is not gonna stay open long enough. How am I supposed to do this, then? Like, as soon as I can get to the door, it's closed. Ooh... Nope, actually, it's open. Okay, well, guys! Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. I did not enjoy that map. Goodbye.